Alright guys, now we're gonna move to the last type of actions. We have the parameters. Again, here we can use actions in order to change the values of the parameters. So now let's have an example in order to understand how this works. Let's build now sales by month. So let's go and get the sales over here. And let's go and get the order date to the columns. I'm just going to change it to the months over here. And let's go and add the labels. So now what I would like to build in this view, as I'm like selecting data from the view, I would like to get the total sales of my selection. So whether I choose one point or I choose a different group of points, I would like to get the total sales of my selection. So now in order to do that, we're going to go and create another worksheet where we want to show the total sales of our selection. So let's go and create another worksheet. So the first thing that you have to do is to go and create a new parameter. Let's go to the data pane to the empty space over here, right click on it and then create parameter. Let's give it a name. It's going to be the total sales. So inside this parameter, we're going to have the total sales of our selection. So we're going to have the data type floats, the display format. So let's move it to a currency standard and the current value can be let's say zero instead of one so that's all let's go and hit ok right click on it show parameter currently it's zero and nothing in our view so now i would like to have one sentence here it says total sales and then we can have the value of the parameter in order to do that we have to go and create a new calculated field so let's go over here in this arrow create a new calculated field so in order to do that we're just going to go to our parameter from the data pane drag and drop it to our calculations so why we are doing this because we cannot use directly the parameter in our aggregations or in our view so we always have to create a new calculated field and inside it we're going to have the value from the parameter so that's all let's go and hit ok so now on the left side we have a new calculated field our new measure let's go and put it inside the text over here and as a default we're going to have it as the sum so as the user are selecting different points we're gonna have the sum of all our selections so this aggregation is correct but now here in the view we have only zero but i would like to have a sentence total sales then the value so in order to do that so let's go to the text over here then to the three points and now we have a new window where we're gonna customize the text so we're gonna say total sales and then we have the value of our new calculated field but let's just make everything bigger so total sales let's move to 20 and the parameter or the calculated fields it's going to be as well 20 and i would like to make it more bold so that's all click ok and as you can see now we have total sales and the value is zero which comes from the parameter so now let's go and change this value to for example 100 now as you can see we got the total sales of 100 and now i would like as well to change the format of the total sales so let's go to our calculated field right click on it then let's go to formats and then here on the left side we have numbers so if you click on these options we can go to the currency standards and then let's move to united states so it's going to be somewhere over here so english united states and with that we got the dollar signs all right guys so now the next step is that i would like to bring everything in one dashboard so both of the worksheets let's go and create a new dashboard so let's get the total sales and then we're going to get the sales by month so let me just make it a little bit bigger and let's remove the title from the total sales so now as you can see the total sales value comes from the parameter so now so far everything is disconnected between those two worksheets and thing that i'm selecting here it will not be reflected inside the parameter so now here comes the magic i would like to change the value of the parameters depending on my actions or my interactions from this view so in order to do that as usual we're going to go to the main menu over here to the dashboards then let's go to the actions and then let's add a new action and choose this option change parameter values let's go inside it so here we have the usual stuff the source the trigger and the targets let's give it a name change parameter total sales so let's define the source it's going to be the sales by month so let's just remove the sheet 7 from here the sheet 7 is the total sales and then the action going to be the select so i would like to select and trigger the action and then here we have to find our parameter so we have only one so the total sales let's select that so here on the right side so what's going to happen once we clear our selections so i would like to say okay let's set it to zero if the users are not selecting anything all right so now with the last one we have to define for tableau which field going to control the values of the parameter by the sales by month we have different informations as you can see over here we have the month and we have the sum of sales of course the sum of sales going to be controlling the values of the parameters so let's go and select this value over here and the aggregation going to be the sum since we are finding the total sales so that's it all for now 
let's go and hit OK. Then again, OK. And now, as you can see, we have the 100 value comes from the parameters. But if I select, for example, these data points over here, you can see that the total sales comes from my selection, the 64,000. So now if I go and select all those values from the view, Tableau is going to go and summarize all those sales from my selections and put it in the parameter value. So with this, we have like connection between the parameters and our actions to the view, which gives a lot of dynamic and interactivities to your dashboards. All right, guys, so that's all for the parameter actions. It's really nice feature in Tableau. All right, so that's all for the action types. And next, I'm gonna share with you my tips about the action triggers. 